Hello and welcome to interest.co.nz. I'm Gareth Vaughan. I'm here with Peter Clare, who's the new CEO of Westpac New Zealand. Thanks for your time, Peter. Thanks, um, obviously, uh, Westpac New Zealand's delivered a very strong half-year result today. Um, you've just come into to the job. Um, how and where can you improve this business, which um, Gail Kelly has highlighted today as one of the standouts in the Westpac group? Sure, look, I think um, the most important thing for me is, is what I have inherited is a business with real momentum. It has a strategy that's working, and in fact, I, I'm in the very luxurious position of being able to say that I intend to keep that momentum going. I don't think I need to change anything radically, just simply hone some of the things that we're doing to uh, improve our performance. Any particular areas? Um, I, I'm very keen on our MyBank strategy. The MyBank strategy rewards customers for their loyalty, for their the depth of their relationship with us and on both the consumer and the business side. So I'd like to see some more focus on that. And certainly on the business banking side, there are a couple of segments that we are underrepresented in, uh, Agri being one, which I think there's an opportunity for us to seek to gain our fair share of market share there. We hear a lot these days about banks funding costs, um, largely in relation to the offshore wholesale markets, obviously with Europe's problems, yeah. that type of thing. But Westpac New Zealand did a very successful um, domestic bond issue recently, raising $750 million. You're probably a little underweight in that area compared to some of your rivals. Is there scope for some more domestic bond issues? Yeah, sure. Look, we, we've taken an approach where we pre-fund our requirements. So. Westpac, uh, as it currently sits with our, um, our retail deposit growth together with our wholesale funding, we're fully funded through to 2013. Um, we have used a combination of domestic funding as well as uh, covered bonds and our intention is to you know, tap the market when it best suits us in terms of pricing and not end up being pushed into a corner where you're forced to actually you know, go out to market when it perhaps doesn't work in a price sense. So I'm very happy of where we sit now and feel that we're very strong. Do you expect increased, increasing competition for domestic uh, retail deposits? Indeed. I mean, it's, it's uh, going forward, it's absolutely certain that, that uh, domestic retail deposits will be deemed valuable by all banking parties. Um, and it's good for the country to, to have that, actually. I think it's, uh, it's good for, for us to lower our requirement in, in a New Zealand sense from an industry perspective on wholesale funding. So we'll see um, strong pricing in, in, in deposits um, and you can be sure that Westpac will participate in that market. And on the lending side, obviously the, the, the credit growth in New Zealand has been anemic probably at, at best um, system wide in the last year or two. Westpac's been growing a little ahead of that. Mm. One of the areas where Westpac and some of the other banks have been growing is, is the high um, uh, loan to value uh, valuation ratio area sure. on the home loan side, the 90% plus sort of area. There's been a bit of questioning around that, notably from your counterpart at ANZ, David Hisco. Mm. Are you comfortable with 95% with, you know, home loans? Is this responsible lending? Absolutely. The way we approach um, high LVR lending is we take a conservative approach in terms of the customer's ability to service that loan and we add indeed a buffer to cover interest rate movements as well. To put it, and, and I, I want Westpac to be an organisation that provides financial services to all New Zealanders where it makes sense for, for them in terms of an, afford, of an affordability sense. Um, taking in, in a case in point above 90% LVR loans, we've helped nearly 150 families get into a home in the last six months and I think that's terrific. And you're comfortable that they can afford the repayments? Absolutely. It is entirely within uh, our risk appetite because we don't want to lose money and, it's, and, and each of these customers have met all of our credit requirements. And just more broadly on, on the lending front, I mean obviously the, the boom years of a few years ago are, are long gone now. Um, what's your sort of medium to long term outlook in terms of lending? Will we ever see a return to those boom times and how long might it take? Look, I, I think um, everything is a cycle. Uh, and we've seen over, if you look at the last 100 years, there's been boom and bust um, you know, in m many different ways. Um, I think uh, what's driving us at the moment is, is unwinding the things that led to the GFC. It's clear to me that that's not going to happen overnight. So we will probably, in a New Zealand perspective, see a lower trajectory of credit growth for a longer period. Um, all of which is OK. I think it's a part of resetting the, the community's expectations around asset price growth as well. So uh, it's certainly something that we can work within uh, to support all New Zealanders during that time. Well, thanks for your time, Peter. It's thanks, Peter Gareth. Clear, who's the new CEO of Westpac New Zealand, and I'm Gareth Vaughan at interest.co.nz.